the video you've all been waiting for, I'm finally going to cover my entire rod and reel arsenal. You know my channel's name is One Rod One Reel Fishing for good reason. This is my entire arsenal. I got my one rod, one reel, had this reel for over 12 years, gets the job done, uh, catch plenty of fish, and uh, I think that about does it for the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you guys in the next one. Just playing. We're going to be doing the full rod and reel arsenal in just a minute or two after a short rant by me. But uh, if you want to go ahead and skip the rant, you can look in the bottom right hand corner and skip to the part of the video where I get right into the reviews. Um, anyways, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, um, tell you what's up, and uh, thank you again for all the support you've given me, um, watching my videos, liking, commenting. Um, it means the world to me. And I don't know if all of you know this, but I actually do this full time. Uh, I'm a professional YouTuber. Uh, I make my money from posting videos and sponsors, and uh, it's awesome because I get to do what I love every day. I get to, well, I don't fish every day, but uh, I love teaching you to fish. I love fishing. I mean, it's been like a dream come true. Uh, it wasn't my plan. Uh, I graduated from college in 2013, took a little time off, and I was supposed to uh, start optometry school. I wanted to be an eye doctor like my dad. Um, I was supposed to be in it like two months ago. Uh, I got into the... Uh, Salish University, that's in Philadelphia, so I was going to be living back in Philly, as a lot of you knew knew that uh, I had told you that, but now I'm staying back in Maryland since uh, I'm pursuing my dream. Um, but anyways, it's been awesome being able to do this, being able to do something I love. Uh, it's the happiest I've ever been in my entire life, without a doubt. I know I made the right decision, when even though at first it was a little bit scary, thinking about if I could make enough money or whatnot, but you can't say no to potentially doing something you love every single day. I mean, you know what they say, if you love your job, you don't have to work a single day in your life. Uh, things didn't always go smoothly for me though. Um, things are really great now, but in, during my childhood, when I was in elementary school and uh, middle school, I was actually bullied and picked on quite a bit because uh, I was overweight. And uh, a lot of you know I actually had to speak with a lisp, a small speech impediment. It was a lot worse when I was younger. I actually had to go through about two years of speech therapy to uh, correct it. So, I mean, it doesn't, I don't care about it now, but yeah, back in the day, it was uh, pretty bad. I got bullied a good amount, but I mean, uh, I'm sure some of you, hopefully not too many of you get bullied, but I know I've, some, some of you have uh, mentioned that you do get bullied. And, um, just know that, just stick through it, keep your head up, and uh, things will get better in the end. I mean, look at me now. Uh, I'm just an average fisherman uh, doing what I love, and uh, I'm able to do what I love for a living, which is just absolutely uh, incredible. Um, anyways, I couldn't have done it without all of you. I couldn't have done it um, without going to school in the first place. Um, school was actually very important for me. Um, I learned a lot about fishing in certain courses, you know, like biology, ecology. I learned about bass, bass behavior, understanding uh, the relationship between uh, the different forage species and uh, bass in general. Um, well, maybe not specifically bass, but fish in general. And then another course that uh, really helped me to understand uh, a little more about the sport of fishing is physics, which you might not think about. Uh, physics, I mean, it does help you in know, understanding how maybe a fish's swim, bl swim bladder works, how the barometric pressure can affect it, uh, the thermocline, which is a key in big bodies of water during certain times of the year. Uh, that helps you understand the fall turnover, spring turnover, stuff like that. It also helps me understand the gear that I use, um, especially bait casters, understanding uh, the spool tension mechanics, uh, the magnetic braking systems, the centrifugal uh, braking systems, uh, digital braking systems, stuff like that. Um, how different baits work, how you can get a jerk bait to suspend in certain temperatures. Um, how you can uh, achieve a longer cast with light baits, how you can achieve a longer cast with heavier baits. When to use fluorocarbon, why fluorocarbon is invisible. I mean, so many things I learned in physics. It's uh, definitely the best course I've taken that helped me with fishing. So I'm thankful to that, and uh, without being in school and trying hard, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, I actually I didn't do that well during uh, middle school and high school. I did all right, but uh, I stepped it up during college, and uh, that's where that's where it's really key for any of you in college. That's where you want to try hard. That's when you want to achieve good grades because that's that could potentially determine your future. I mean, not as much for me perhaps, but it could, it was going to. Um, but work hard in school, guys. Um, you can learn a lot of stuff that'll help you in the future, and uh, yeah, just um, yeah, just keep at it, guys. Keep trying hard; it'll open doors for you in the future. And uh, I also wanted to thank you, everyone, for commenting, uh, being uh, active, allowing me to communicate with you through YouTube, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. 
and I try to answer as many comments as I possibly can and I get about 500 messages a day or so. Um, I actually spend, I spend about 15 hours a week answering comments, you know, about two hours a day. I wish I had time to answer more because I know a lot of you have great fishing questions and uh, I want to learn more about what I want to try to teach you. Uh, but I, there's a, only a certain number of questions I can answer, but keep asking. I'll get to as many as I possibly can. Um, appreciate the support and uh, speaking of support, um, I just wanted to let you guys know there's also an opportunity for you to support me even more if you want to. You absolutely do not have to. Um, I opened a Patreon account. That's kind of a website where you can uh, make donations to me online. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll put a link up above and I'll also put a link in the video description to my Patreon page. Uh, you, like I said, you don't have to. Um, just watching my videos, liking, commenting is more than enough support. But if you want to go that extra mile and maybe donate a dollar or two uh, per month to me, I actually offer perks to you guys. Um, if you donate two dollars, I give you access to a bonus video every month that's not going to be shown on my channel. But uh, it's not going to be like super good content. My best content will always be available to everyone, uh, just open to the public. That extra video will just be, you know, some extra footage I took that maybe I didn't quite want to make a video out of, but you can, I'm sure you'll still enjoy it. So, you know, if you, uh, if you uh, donate $2 a month, that comes out. I post 12 new videos every month. That comes out to like 17 cents a video. So uh, you can think about it like that, supporting, uh, supporting me, helping me do this for a living, helping me create more content for you to enjoy and you to learn from. And I actually uh, offer uh, other things too through Patreon. Um, I offer a lure guide. I'm sure you've seen my guide for my previous tackle. When I go went through all my tackle, I had a guide with a card. I actually spent the last couple weeks uh, making a new guide covering every bait, every class of bait, writing what exactly what kind of conditions they're good in, uh, effective in, water temps, um, clouds, wind. I factor in all the variables and just make a made a pretty comprehensive uh, bait guide that could definitely help a lot of you out uh, if you're not always sure what to use. And uh, the last thing uh, I think I offer through Patreon, a couple of things, the last thing I'll talk about is uh, I actually also wrote a book on um, starting a fishing YouTube channel because I know a lot of you do that. So yeah, I spent a lot of time writing a book on it. Um, like I said, uh, I actually, I've been very successful with my fishing channel. I had 3,000 subs, like I said, earlier this year. I'm at just about 85 or so, something like that. Um, but I definitely know a couple tips and tricks for growing a channel. Um, I know how to use social media to uh, to help promote my channel and stuff like that. And I know about uh, search engine optimization. I know about the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys want to learn more about that stuff, uh, you can also get access to my uh, um, my ebook, the uh, lure guide, and my book are electronic guides. So I can email them to you um, through Patreon. Uh, so if you want, you can go ahead and do that. If not, keep watching my videos. Appreciate the support, and that's enough ranting. I think I went way over the limit. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get into the rod and reel arsenal now. The moment you've been waiting for, we're finally going to go through my true arsenal. And before 2015, I actually only owned two combos. Uh, maybe three. Two or three. If you count my spinning reel, it's three, I guess. But uh, yeah, I kind of went a little crazy this year. Uh, spent, I spent about 90% of my, oh, okay, here's how my earning breakdowns go. I probably spend like 50% of my money on fishing, 20% on food, 20% on, you know, insurance, um, cell phone, whatever, then uh, whatever the rest of that goes into savings. So yeah, I spent a lot of money on fishing. I, I picked up like five or six combos this year. Um, definitely went a little overboard, but uh, I'm not, this is, I made this video because my arsenal, I feel, is complete, at least for the next two or three years so I'm not planning on adding anything to it for uh, quite a while so that's why I want to do this video now now that it's uh, like I said pretty much complete I'm gonna go through these combos from by reel from how old they are so we're gonna start with my oldest which actually isn't gonna be a bait caster my oldest spinning is my spinning combo which I haven't used myself in quite a while it's a really nice reel it's a team Daiwa Tierra uh, I've got this about 13 years ago um, I don't use it much, like I said, but I let I let people I fish with use it. Um, I have a spool with 20 pound braid. I got a fluorocarbon leader on there. Uh, usually they're using it for live bait stuff like that. It has a couple scruff marks, but it's still in perfect working condition. Uh, and the rod is a really really nice rod on here. It's a uh, it's a Gene Loomis GLX uh, six foot six inch medium power fast action rod. I and mean, this rod is so sensitive. If I wanted to use a drop shot of shaky heading or shaky heads, uh, it would be an absolute dream to use. 
So uh, whoever gets to fish with me and borrows this rod, they don't always know it, but uh, they're, they're in for quite a treat right here. Uh, let's go over what we got next. Next is my bait caster that I use. My channel is One Rod, One Reel Fishing. I literally use this one, this one reel. I use a different rod with it. But uh, the One Rod and One Reel, I used it for about six years straight for all of my fishing. It was crazy doing that. It worked, kind of. It wasn't ideal, but I got it done. I caught plenty of fish, as you see in plenty of my videos. But uh, yeah, it's my Shimano Antares DC right here. It's a digital control system. Really cool. It actually has four braking settings, uh, long distance, multi-versatile, accuracy, and wind. You can use it depending on what kind of casting you're doing. And uh, actually, it doesn't even work anymore. This reel is so old, the digital control system broke. It broke like three months ago, so it broke. It lasted 12 years, so I'm not complaining about that. Um, it's a really nice reel. Uh, I beat my dad in a crazy bet to get it. He, he actually bet me a boat that I gave him a six-point lead playing air hockey. And uh, he said that... Um, uh, playing seven points, he said if I beat him, he would buy me a boat. So I ended up beating him nine to seven. So he didn't buy me a boat, but I got this. So I just I didn't know anything about reels. I just thought the more expensive it was, the better it was, which isn't the case. So I just got this thing. But it did held it held up great. Um, it casts like a beast. You can, that long distance mode, if you have low wind, you can cast the thing super far. I got this on a, a G Loomis E6X, a uh, pretty new rod. I got it a couple months ago. This is a six foot six inch medium heavy. Um, power, fast action. Uh, I like this. I like the rods that are 6'6 six, six to 6'9 six, range because most of my fishing is shore based. And as you know, if you're fishing from the bank, sometimes you get in tight places with limbs above you to the side of you, all kinds of stuff. If you have a rod that's too long, a lot of times on your cast, you're hitting the branches, getting backlashes. It's a huge pain in the butt. So, yeah, that's why I like to stick with that range. It's also easier for me to work with because I'm not super tall, I'm only 5'7. But anyways, uh, what I like to do with this, uh, it's really stiff. This rod is really heavy and stiff. It's probably the heaviest of my rods, stiffest of my rods. So I prefer lighter rods. So I'm pr basically just using this for shore-based uh, flipping and pitching. Um, Carolina rigs, uh, maybe a flutter spoon or a jigging spoon, something like that. So I'm actually kind of retiring this reel. I'm not trying not to use it as much anymore because it's gone through quite a bit. But uh, it's still old faithful. I'll pull it out anytime I'm using those uh, heavier techniques. Um, let's go to the next reel. The next one I've had for about, my team die with Steve, I think I got this about four years ago because I had to send back my Shimano Antares DC for some uh, maintenance for a little bit. So I picked this thing up, I wanted something light. This is, that was a pretty heavy reel, that's like 8.8 .8 ounces. I wanted something lighter. Team die with Steve, that's one of the lightest reels you can get. Uh, this weighs in at like just under 6 ounces I believe. Um, it's a really nice Really great reel. Got it paired up with a uh, Bass Pro Shops Johnny Morris Carbon Light and a six foot six inch uh, medium power fast action. Uh, this rig is great for throwing uh, shaky heads, weightless Texas rigs, small jerk baits, small cranks, small top waters, uh, anything like that. And I got braided on here again. And I'm a big fan of braided line because I like making long casts, fishing from the shore to access those spots that are a little harder to get to. And um, the braided line, if you're making a long cast with a uh, single hook bait or even treble hook baits, if you're using fluorocarbon or monofilament, you get bit on the end of that cast. It can be really hard to get a good hook set. With braid, zero stretch, you can hook them from 100 yards out, no problem. And also braid is also cost efficient because one spool of braid will last you a long time. You can, I'll fish it for like three, or six, three to six months, no problems, no troubles without worrying about uh, changing it out. And also allows me with this strong, it's very strong. Um, it has a very high strength to uh, line diameter ratio. Um, it's very thin, you know, it's a 20 pound line, it's super thin. I can just bomb cast with it all day. And uh, I think that pretty much does it for this one. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Hope you're uh, ready to uh, go through everything. But uh, I th have more to say about these earlier ones, I think, because I've used them more. And the, I'm gonna say one more thing. The one thing I don't like, uh, the carbon light rod is feather light. Maybe not the most sensitive, but it's really light. It's uh, really great to use if you're gonna be fishing all day and you don't wanna get too fatigued. The only thing I don't like on it is the hook keeper. The placement of it, of the hook keeper, sometimes gets in the way of, uh, of my line. When I cast out, my line will get hooked under it and that can cause line break offs. Uh, it hasn't yet for me, but it's just really annoying to deal with because it, it just makes you waste a couple seconds fixing that and you don't want to do that. Alright, number three for the bait caster, we got the Team Daiwa, uh, Team Daiwa Zillion Type R. Uh, I think this is a little bit 
more rare of a uh, reel I've heard. I, I think guess it's hard to find, but uh, it wasn't hard to find when I got it. I got it on sale from Tackle Warehouse. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video until my dog stopped barking. I think we're in the clear. The dog stopped barking. Let's continue. The Team Die Resilient Type R. I got it on sale from Tackle Warehouse and they're discontinuing it, so I got a good deal on it. Um, super versatile, really comfortable to palm, no problems with it. I have it paired with a 16 pound Sunlight Sniper fluorocarbon. Um, great line. Uh, I like using this combo around uh, using them with like spinner baits, um, square bills, maybe like moving baits where I'm likely to throw it around some, some light brush or cover where maybe 12 or 14 pound fluorocarbon might be a little bit too light. I also throw some Texas rigs if I'm fishing uh, clear water and I want to have a full fluorocarbon line on instead of a braid with a leader. And uh, the rod I'm using with it is my oldest rod. I used to have this from the Antares. This is a uh, G Loomis GLX right there. It's a um, 6 foot 6 inch medium heavy um, fast action. Great rod. It's held up all these years. No problems. No problems with the guides. No problems with any breaking or anything. Uh, the cork is pretty, it's a little worn out, but it's not a big deal. Uh, this rod is just super light, super sensitive, responsive. It can, I can like throw anything, anything within the quarter ounce, the three quarter ounce range, any bait at all. Uh, this rod throws it like a dream. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. I think I'm getting through it pretty, pretty well, I think. I think I'm running out of space. Next up, I got this one, I think about March or April this year. It's a, it's a Luz. I heard a lot of great things about Luz reels. I wanted to try one on my own. This is a Luz uh, Speed Spool Pro uh, BB1. Got this one on sale too from Tackle Warehouse. Another reason why I got it, you know, when you can save $30 on an awesome reel like this, can't say no to that. Um, I like using it. I have 30 pound suffix braid on it. I like using it for top waters, um, lipless crankbaits if I'm ripping out of the grass. Uh, stuff like that. Maybe uh, maybe a Texas rig or something if I want to bomb it out. A light Texas rig if I want to bomb it out, but I need the uh, no stretch of the uh, braided line. I have it paired on a uh, loose Custom Speed Stick Light. So this rod is uh, really cool. It has a wind grip on it, so if, you, if you're the type that holds the grip, which I, I don't really do that, but it still feels pretty cool. If you like holding the grip, this grip is a non-slip grip, which is uh, really comfortable. It's a uh, six foot, I think it's eight inch. Let's see, yeah, six foot, eight inch. It's rated as a medium light power, uh, fast action, I believe. Yep, fast action, but it really feels like a medium. Uh, I wouldn't even say that's medium light. Um, but it's a great, it's a good rod. I've used it. I put some pretty good use on it so far. Um, the Luz, what I really like about these Luz reels is you can cast them a uh, country mile. They have a really wide spool. It holds a ton of line. So when you want to make long cast, you want to use heavy baits with spools that hold a lot of line. So this will get it done for you right there. And this rod, uh, it's a good rod, get some good distance on it. Uh, I picked it up pretty recently, so I can't, I don't have super, a ton of to say about it. But uh, overall, definitely a good addition. And the one thing I'm going to say about all my stuff, uh, all my, everything I picked out, I'm 100% satisfied with every single thing I have, with the exception of maybe my... Uh, G Loomis E6X. It's just a tad bit heavy for my taste, but I still enjoy using it. It's still a great rod. This one I picked up to fish in salt water because before 2015 I didn't fish any salt water for like three years or something. So I wanted, I don't want to use my this stuff that I use in freshwater and salt water because that'll you can corrode it and it won't feel as nice. So I picked up this Abu Garcia or Inshore. It's a great deal for $150. Um, this reel, a couple things I like about it, it casts really, really far as well. Um, it has these uh, pretty big big handle, big grips right here, which is good for cranking those heavier baits. And um, got it spooled up with 30 pound braid as well, just so I can get that extra distance and my fishing from the surf or whatever. This probably isn't ideal for that, but that's what I use it for. Um, I use it on about four, I probably fish about 10 days in salt water, like four days in the surf. You saw it with black tip H and whatnot. I, I think I dropped it in the surf once, and actually, still you can it still reels fine. It still casts perfectly, but it's not as smooth as it was. I think it got a little bit of sand in it, so it's a little bit it's a little bit rough reeling it in, but it's not a big deal to me. Um, I have it paired on. This is one of my newer rods. This is a uh, Kistler. It's the Magnesium TS, um, recommended by uh, John B. It's on sale from Tackle Warehouse. You know, I like getting stuff on sale, saving money. This is a medium heavy. 
uh, fast action, let's see, I believe it is medium heavy fast, yeah, oh, medium heavy extra fast action, seven foot, it's my only seven foot rod, just so I can get the extra distance if I'm fishing the salt, um, has a split grip to save a little bit of weight on it, looks nice, it's a nice classic graphite design, and uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't used it too much, this rod too much, so I definitely am looking forward to fishing it more in the uh, salt water in the future, so yeah, this is my salt water combo, I can probably throw some like, like if I want to throw some moderately deep diving cranks, I could probably double it up as that for this as well. And now we're getting into the last three on the list. This is a reel I've really been enjoying. Another new edition, got it like three months ago. Shimano Aldebaran. Um, this is a, it's a BFS Limited. I got it from Japan Tackle. It's a super finesse reel. Um, when I say that, I mean it literally holds like one cast worth of line if you're using like eight pound line or ten pound line so what i do is i'm using ten pound braid which has a diameter of like four pound monofilament and uh, i'm basically just using this raw reel for ultra light ultra ultra light applications i have it paired on a bass pro shock bionic blade six foot six inch medium power fast action i'm actually hoping it's a great this is a great rod don't get me wrong um great for the money it's only 80 bucks but I'm probably going to look to upgrade it to a lighter rod and a slightly, maybe a little more sensitive rod that might be a little more deserving of this reel, even though i got nothing against the bionic blade. I mean, I love it for what, for what it does. And um, I'm basically just throwing, like I said, finesse techniques, the drop shot mainly, um, like uh, Ned Rig, and then trout fishing. If I'm going to go trout or crappie fishing, I prefer, don't, I don't really like using spinning gear. Nothing against it. It's a great, if you, it's all about preference. Um, Black Tip H love throwing spinning gear. I love throwing bait cast or just whatever you, whatever kind of gear you like to use. So I'm using this for trout, using it for crappie, using it for other smaller panfish. Um, drop shots, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm using for it. If I'm fishing a drop shot, what I like to do is I like to, um, I like to have the weight down here secured with a rubber band just so it's not flopping all over the place. Especially if I'm fishing a tournament or something, I don't want it getting tangled and being a pain to untangle and I'm trying to pull it out and get on a fish. Uh, up next, we got a uh, combo I've really been enjoying using um, the past month or two. I got it pretty recently. It's a bit of an impulse buy from Japan Tackle, uh, but it was on. Was it on sale? It was on sale. Yeah, that's gotta get them while they're on sale, right? <laughs> uh, it's a Shimano CI4 uh, JDM. It's a really great reel. I mean, Shimano's. I always feel super comfortable throwing Shimano's. Uh, I can just pick up any Shimano on the pretty much on the market, take it out, first cast, I pretty much feel dialed in when I'm casting it. This thing is super smooth, casts plenty far. I've been spooled up with 14 pound Sunlight Sniper fluorocarbon. I like using it with uh, you know, jerk baits, um, crank baits, uh, spinner baits, chatter baits, you can use it with all that. It's really versatile, you can use it for lighter Texas rigs as well. Uh, it's paired up with a great rod, it's a Shimano Crucial Rod. And this is a six foot, let's see the exact spec, six foot eight inch, uh, medium power, extra fast action. So uh, it's really easy to work that jerk bait with that extra fast tip. And uh, this rod is really light. This combo just feels perfectly balanced, not too tip heavy, not too uh, butt heavy. And uh, it's been a joy to use. I'm definitely looking forward to using it more in the future. And last but not least, we got a 13 fishing combo which uh, 13 Fishing was nice enough to hook me up with when uh, I did a little video for them when I was doing uh, my last MTB Slam with John B. Um, we got a 13 Fishing Concept A with a Omen Black. Oh, I just noticed that I haven't been telling you the gear ratios on any of these reels. Um, basically, all my gear ratios are the 6-3 to 1 to 7-0 to 1 range. Uh, pretty average. Uh, I'm going to put all the specs and information online I'm using. Um, the uh, gear ratios and whatnot. I'll put them in the video description below so if you're interested you can check that out. Anyways, we got the uh, 13 Fishing Concept A 30 pound braided line. You know, I'm a big fan of braid. Uh, I really like the uh, cork handles on it. That's a cool touch. Um, I think there's some bearings. Uh, I'm not sure if the bearings and the handles, but it's a really smooth reel to, uh, to hold, um, to reel. And it's really comfortable to palm. It's, uh, it's not too heavy, it's not too light feels just about right. Uh, the only thing about this 13 fishing, I've never used it before. It took me, when I first got it, it took me a little while to dial it in to get comfortable casting. It probably took me like half an hour to an hour, which is a, 
over my average when I'm fishing something new. And uh, what I noticed is um, it, I didn't get the furthest casting distance with this reel. I could cast light baits pretty well. I think the spool might be slightly thinner than some other some of my other reels. But yeah, I wasn't getting the crazy distance as I as I was like from the lose or anything. But uh, I mean, it gets the job done. I like I have it paired on my uh, 13 fishing um, Omen Black Gen 2 rod. It's a uh, six foot, seven inch, uh, medium heavy, uh, fast action. So it's a pretty versatile rod. Uh, I like throwing jigs on it mainly, but I could throw other stuff very easily as well. You know, tech heavier Texas rigs. Um, I could throw a spinner bait or chatter bait if I wanted to. So a lot of my combos. Since I, when I'm shore fishing, I don't like to take a million combos with me. I'll take anywhere from one to three, and uh, a lot of times just taking one. So a lot of these combos that I have here are pretty versatile. I can throw a variety of baits on them. So I, uh, a lot of times fishermen will buy technique specific gear, which is great if you have a boat, you know, you're going to carry 20 rods in there, one for each uh, technique. So that's cool if you want to do that, and, uh, it'll definitely help you out. So what I'm doing is a lot of these combos I can throw anywhere from three to ten techniques comfortably on. So that's, uh, that's a lot of the reasoning behind why some of this gear is similar, especially the rod lengths are similar, the rod actions are similar, uh, just because I want to be very versatile. Um, when having these and you know I like to collect them so I want to have more than you know two or three um, but this will be good for me for now I'm not planning on getting anything new for quite a while unless maybe something something breaks or something like that but uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed the arsenal and uh, yeah be sure to check out patreon up above if you haven't yet and uh, we'll see you on the next video signing out